Pugs originated in China, dating right back to the Han Dynasty. Pugs were bred to be companion dogs for ruling families in China. The pet pug was highly valued by Chinese emperors and the royal dogs were even kept in luxury and sometimes even guarded by soldiers. Pugs have a great charm and they're very intelligent and they're such happy little guys. The colours they come in are silver, apricot, fawn and black. And they should weigh between 6.3 kilos and 8.1 kilo. Pugs shed constantly and removing your pug's dead unwanted undercoat will help the new healthy coat grow through. Dogs actually shed to regulate their body temperature so it helps protect your dog's skin as well as keep them really cool in the summer and super warm in the winter. On Adam, we are going to use a de-shedding tool and it works by pulling and dragging out that dead dull coat and leaving that new healthy shiny coat. We begin by placing our hand in front of the tool and gently pulling our dog's coat nice and firm. And then with our de-shedding tool, we are gently going to pull it through our dog's coat and it will start to remove that dead unwanted undercoat. Using a de-shedding tool will definitely reduce the amount of loose hair your pug has in his coat. You can use this de-shedding tool once a week and you can use it from five minutes to 20 minutes depending on how much coat your dog has. If your pug is a little bit restless, maybe try two to five minutes and then build up on that. So I'm going to begin by placing the water on Adam's back first so just so he gets used to the water temperature and then just working it down his legs. As I'm working the water up towards his head I don't want to put the water directly in his face so I'm just going to lift his head gently and just let the water drizzle over the top of his head. I've finished his first initial rinse so I'm just going to apply the refresh shampoo and then gently massage that through his coat. Our refresh collection combines the well-known moisturizing properties of aloe vera and essential oils such as lemon myrtle, citrus and avocado. It contains vitamins A, D and E which help revitalize the driest and most damaged coats. Avocado oil controls the water loss in your dog's coat while moisturizing and nourishing and maintaining healthy skin and coat. While we have the first shampoo on, this is a great opportunity to use our de-shedding tools because our de-shedding tools will actually grip onto that dead coat and remove more dead coat. Placing our hand in front of our de-shedding tool and pulling firmly on our dog's skin and then gently work our de-shedding tool through our dog's coat. Once we have completed our first shampoo, I'm now going to begin rinsing him, starting with his little head first and he's snorting a lot and then moving on to his body. And I'm just moving his head backwards so we don't get any water up his little nose at all. Once we've fully rinsed off our first lot of shampoo, we are going to repeat the process, but we're not actually going to use any de-shedding techniques. We're just going to gently massage the shampoo into his coat. And once we've done our second shampoo, we are going to repeat that rinsing process. I fully rinsed Adam's shampoo off, so now I'm going to give Adam's coat a really good deep conditioning treatment with the Refresh Conditioner. The Refresh Conditioner is enriched with avocado oil and it will assist in strengthening Adam's coat and moisturising his skin. Our 
And once we've worked the conditioner through the coat, now we're going to begin that rinsing process again. I'm going to be using a happy hoodie on little Adam today. So what a happy hoodie does is helps protect dog's ears from any noise. So a dryer is quite loud. Popping it over his little head and making sure his ears are nice and flat underneath. Before I begin drying Adam, I'm going to spray his entire coat with the Refresh Coat Conditioning Spray. So what this will do is it'll actually hydrate his coat during the drying process, but it will actually put a lot of condition back in the coat and it'll make it a lot easier to remove any more loose hair in his coat. I prefer to keep the towel on my dog while I'm drying. So any water that is on my dog is going to go on the towel and not back onto my dog's coat. And just doing small areas at a time and then just constantly moving that dryer as I'm working through his coat. So while we're drying our coat, I like to either use my slicker and brush through my dog's coat at the same time, or I like to use my rubber comb to massage through that coat and it'll help de-shed as we're drying because our handheld dryer doesn't actually have the force of a high velocity dryer to push that hair out. So we need to actually manually do it. So little Adam is completely dry, so he has no dampness on him whatsoever, and he's dying to get around on the floor and play with the other dogs. So I'm just going to finish him off with the Refresh Cologne and just gently spritz it over his coat. And this has the avocado oil in it as well, so it's going to add more hydration to his coat. I'm going to pop a small amount of saline solution on each makeup removal pad. And then gently with my index finger, I'm just going to hold one of the little folds out. And with my other index finger, popping that through the makeup wipe and then gently wiping out any gunk in that folded area. And then our other side, Gently holding back that fold and working our makeup remover pad in that fold. If we don't clean out the folds in our pug's nose area, those folds can become irritated and get bacterial and yeast infections. I recommend cleaning out your pug's folds at least once to three times a week, depending on what sort of adventures your little pug is getting into. If you are wanting to wipe out your pug's eyes at the same time as you're cleaning out those folds, be sure to use a different wipe or makeup removal pad. So then no little nasties are then getting transmitted to other areas of your dog's face.